In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a wireless microphone for live streaming. Now we're gonna be using OBS as a software, but this can work with any other streaming software like Streamlabs or Ecamm Live or EV Max, StreamYard, it doesn't matter, right? All we need to do is to be able to get a way to connect our microphone to the computer that's running the software. Again, we're gonna be using OBS. And uh, of course, we're gonna be featuring a wireless microphone kit that's actually 100% my favorite. This is the Holy Learn Lark Mark II, all right? This is a fantastic uh, wireless microphone kit. And guys, this is gonna be beneficial. Why you do you need to use a wireless microphone? Again, I do not recommend to use a wireless microphone, by the way, when you're live streaming in a place like a studio like this one. However, if you're going to be moving around using a microphone, uh, a wired microphone like what I'm using right now, it does not give you the freedom of, you know, kind of go around because if I leave, if I go here, you can hear that the sound, I start losing the sound, uh, of course, but if I have a wireless microphone, I can be free and move around in my studio. So depending on the type of live stream, you are running, uh, you may actually find yourself needing to use a wireless microphone kit. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to connect the Holy Land Lock Mark II to OBS. So you have two ways of connecting this microphone. So when you receive it, obviously, uh, if you buy the camera kit uh, or the camera combo, whatever it has few options. If I go here, I'm just gonna show you on the screen right here. You can see there's USB type C where you're gonna receive this little USB type C kind of kit. This is gonna be useful for connecting directly into something like a phone. So if you wanna stream from your phone directly, it's gonna be useful. However, uh, you also, they have another combo that's lightning, uh, that's gonna give you this lightning um, kind of adapter. And this is gonna be useful if you wanna stream directly from your iPhone, right? However, if you wanna connect this directly to a camera, you also, can get this what they call camera kit or the 3.5 mm uh, TRS kit which you're gonna be able to use as well to connect directly to a camera which is awesome in my opinion I would actually recommend you get the full combo it's gonna give you all the adapters so whenever you need to use on your phone you can use it on your phone whenever you you need to use on your camera you can use it on your camera and uh, of course, if you need to live stream, which is what I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to use this camera adapter, right, for connecting to your computer or to OBS. Now, this camera adapter has two output options. The first one is going to be the 3.5 mm jack kind of output. And then the other way is going to be the USB way uh, or the USB type C output now the usb type c output is gonna be for connecting to your computer directly using a usb cable and that's how we're gonna be doing it okay but i'm also gonna show you the other way so how you do it usually it's gonna come obviously with this little uh, usb type c cable which is something that you're gonna need so what you need you're gonna need to connect this usb type c into your adapter right into your receiver sorry like so all right something like this and then the other end the other end of your usb cable you're gonna have that connected to your computer all right so i'm gonna go ahead and connect that to my computer all right so now it's connected to my computer okay another thing is you want to make sure there's this uh, volume knob or gain knob usually you want to make sure you get the right levels usually i put in the middle so I don't want to put to the max, all right? Just, just to make sure you don't clip, okay? So now, once you have it connected to your computer, we're going to go ahead and open OBS. So what we need to do first, okay? I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign, okay? And the first thing, of course, you want to make sure you add your camera. So I'm going to add the camera. So let's say camera. I see, I'm just going to call it camera. And then under that scene, I'm going to go ahead and add my camera. So... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a video capture device. You see, let's call it maybe webcam, just for demo purposes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and look for my camera here, which is the Obsbat Me 2. So this is my webcam. I'm just gonna connect it and leave it like that. I'm gonna make sure it's full screen here. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and add an audio input capture. And then I'm gonna call it wireless mic and then hit okay 
And then under device, because we have it connected, we should be able to find it. Now it's gonna show up here and it's gonna be called microphone wireless microphone. So it's a generic name. It does not brand itself as Holyland Lark Mark II. I would love to see it brand itself, you know, a little more not having this kind of generic name, but it is what it is for now. So it's gonna show up uh, under microphone wireless microphone. I choose that device and hit okay. And as you can see, we have a signal in OBS. Now it does really sound good. Again, you can play with the levels on the microphone just to make sure it sounds good. Uh, obviously you wanna make sure you wear the actual microphone. So you already, I'm already wearing the microphone. You have uh, multiple ways of uh, wearing it. You can use some of these clips as well, right? So you can wear the mic like this, right? And just put it on your shirt, something like this, right? Again, depending on how you want to wear it. Uh, for me personally, I like to wear it with this uh, little necklace because it just looks good, all right? You also have these little magnets that you can use with it that will actually, you know, kind of stick on your shirt like this right so you can use it that way you also want to make sure the distance between your mouth and the mic is not too close but it's also not too far from your mouth and that's gonna give you a good sound right so go ahead and you know just do a few testing listen to it and make sure you're not clipping make sure the gain is right and everything but usually you know just make sure on the receiver everything is on you know in between the middle i found it to be like the happy medium and uh, your microphone here make sure it's not too close to your mouth but also not too far right from your mouth somewhere like this distance is kind of it looks good even the signal in obs looks really really good all right so that's pretty much it guys like it's just gonna show up and you're gonna be able to record now another way of doing it i did try this method with the digital signal is the easiest way and you also want to make sure you keep the line of sight so there's nothing blocking you and the microphone uh, receiver. So even if you connect to your computer, make sure really there's nothing blocking you guys because this is wireless. Anything kind of, uh, the more you have things kind of between you or the actual microphone and the receiver, the more you may start getting some interference, which is not good. So you wanna make sure you avoid that as much as possible just to avoid any issues where you just gonna have a bad sound or anything. All right. So guys, so another way of connecting your receiver to your computer, you can use actually this cable, which is the 3.5 mm jack kind of cable, right? You just connect it here where it says camera. There's a little camera icon here. You connect that and then you go to your computer. You find usually there's a little input called microphone, right? So now you connect this to your microphone input on your actual computer. Let's go ahead and actually do it. All right, so now I have the microphone connected, okay? Once you're done, you do the same thing. You add a new scene, all right? And then you, you add, not a new scene, but you add a new source. Same thing we did with the USB, but under device, if you go here, now it's gonna show up as microphone high definition audio device, right? That's your normal microphone input on your computer. And I click okay. And as you can see, we have a signal. Now here you have it, guys. You have two ways of connecting your wireless microphone. To OBS, of course, featuring the amazing Holyland Lark Mark II. If you have questions, let me know down below. But other than that, guys, the only thing uh, remaining is actually to be able to go live either to YouTube or Facebook. But if you want to know how to go live actually on Facebook or YouTube using OBS, I'm going to link the video right here. It's going to show you how to do that. And I'll see you there, guys. Take care.